In this video, we'll be looking at a property of Revit levels called the computational height. Here I have a small building model, and if I look in section, the building is split at the ground level between a lower part of the building on the left and a elevated part of the building on the right, that is 700 millimeters higher than the level 00, zero level here. If I go into plan, I have placed a number of rooms. However, on the elevated side of the building, I can see that these rooms are not enclosed. And if I try to place a new room, or an existing corridor room, I get a warning saying that the room is not in a properly enclosed region and therefore cannot be closed. The reason that the rooms are not enclosed is due to the height above the level that Revit uses to look for boundary elements and also to calculate the room area. If I go back to my section, I can see that there are no walls that go down to the Revit level. If I select this level and look in the properties, there is a property or parameter called the computation height. I can change this for this particular level to a height above 700 millimeters, so I will choose 800 millimeters. I can now see that the rooms have appeared in section and if I go to the floor plan the rooms are now bounded to the walls within the building. If I go back to the section and I select a room I can see a dashed line here which is indicating the height at which the area of this room and where the room bounding elements are located is being formed. Because these walls go below this height, the room is bounding and also correctly reporting the area. I can choose to adjust the base offset for these levels to 700 millimeters to align to the underside of the or the top of the floor and the rooms are still enclosed. Again if I select this room here I can see the dashed line indicating the computation height of this room which matches the computation height of the level. This functionality is also useful for situations such as this, where I have a two-storey building, but with a lowered roof. Note that the area of the room is calculated currently to the edge of this external wall, because the computation height of this level 1 is set to 0. However, I want the area of the room to be less because I want it to reflect the usable space of this room which I have defined up to a height of 1200 millimeters above the floor. So the area that is not hatched I do not wish to include in the area of this room. Therefore I can change the computational height to 1200 and note that the area of the room has now changed as reflected in the room tag. And if I select on this room, I can see that the room area is now excluding these two zones below 1200 millimeters above the level. If I just hide the dashed line, 
that the computation height of this room is at this dashed line of 1200 millimeters. I hope that this has demonstrated how the computation height property of a level can be used to enclose rooms that need to be positioned slightly above or indeed below a level and also how it can be used to manipulate the area measurement rules of rooms where required.